Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at Hubris on the Quest 3, um, the standalone version, and the PC VR version, which I'm streaming from my desktop using Virtual Desktop. Now, as you can see, there's quite a big difference between the two versions, and it's not just the texture detail or the resolution bump that you're getting on the PC VR version, but um, it's all these added effects as well, lighting effects, shadow effects, as you can see with this character here. And this is sort of a hologram character that comes in at the beginning of the game. And you can immediately see that the... Um, I'm not going to give you all the technical names uh, for it, but all the sort of light diffusion off the skin um, that you're seeing in sort of uh, AAA games for desktop, PC and consoles. So the quest version is really sort of, the re realism of the character is completely different. Um, skin texture detail, the outfit detail, uh, the textures are, are different. And the lighting especially though, it really does make a lot of difference. So on the uh, quest 3, which is on the right hand side of the screen, which you probably noticed already, um, it's just lacking in that sort of effect. Um, and as you can see in this moment as well, the PC version, there's a sort of red glow as this little scene is happening. But on the Quest version, they didn't add that red glow uh, for some reason. Um, which is unusual. Because uh, it adds just a nice sort of a layer to this sort of scene. That you're sort of stuck in this part of the ship at the beginning of the game. So once we move on out of here... You have to excuse me, I didn't really sync it up to be exactly the same, but just so you can see sort of the general ambience. So here the quest is a lot lighter. Um, the character model is not as detailed. Uh, the PC version seemed a bit brighter here. Um, quite similar here, but obviously you'd notice when you're looking at it at full screen that the quest version is definitely a lot less detailed. Um, and then when we open the door here, now this is a big moment. Lot less assets. Now that underwater weeds look really low quality. The density of them is far less. Um, and uh, yeah, they look very basic. And then when you start climbing on the rocks, the detail on the rocks, the algae on the rocks, the sort of little cracks, all the sort of detail is sort of missing on the quest version. I mean, there's some still there. But it's just completely uh, different. And um, yeah, there's no comparison. I mean, this is the Quest 3 most recent version uh, footage um, from the trial that's available now, today. Um, I mean, the water looks pretty good, but you're not seeing as many assets within the water on the Quest 3 version as you do on the PC. VR version, um, yeah, ob this is obvious, isn't it, that the Quest 3 isn't going to be able to match what's happening on the PC, um, and so we pause the PC version here to just to focus on those sort of uh, details. Now, you might say at first glance, yeah, it's very close, um, everything is exactly the same in terms of uh, its location and its positioning but when you sort of start looking at the details um, you can see clearly the PC has a way better overall visual improvement over the Quest 3 version. Um, obviously the Quest 3 is going to struggle with these higher resolution textures um, and they're going to have to sort of balance the fact that it's a uh, standalone VR headset but I mean I find that very interesting and I um, hope that you enjoy just looking at the comparison there is no comparison PC VR all the way